Hey y'all, coming to you from International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2018 SEMA show when I came across a 1956 Pontiac Star Chief, the Chief. I think y'all are gonna like it, it's a very nice car. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Just gorgeous, right? I mean, that is just classic cool. I don't know what's been done to it. I tried to do some research on it before I did the uh, audio for the video, but you know, <laughs> all, it, all it really showed was a lot of pictures of the car and a lot of awards that it won while it was at SEMA. Won a good guy's award. It was, I don't know, it, it was up for a lot of awards. It won a lot of awards and for good reason, just a good looking car all the way around. I really dig the color of it. I would have loved to have seen it outside. But I love the, the blue top on it and the shade of blue, how dark it is, and those bronze type of accents. And the, uh, I don't know what else to call those straps on the hood, but they remind me of like on luggage, you know. Sitting low, as you can see from up under the front of it. Now, I wouldn't change a thing except for the location. Good looking wheel. You know, it's a modern wheel, but yet it fits it. It, uh, it, it fits the car. On top of fitting the build, it's, it's got a very classic look to it and, you know, a solid, heavy look like the car has. Because, you know, it doesn't look nimble. It looks like it would float. Just gorgeous up underneath. I wish it, you know. I love them low, but I'd like to see a better shot up underneath because a lot of times they're just as attractive underneath as they are on top. This one's done to a very high level, obviously. I love the interior. I love the shade of the interior, the bench seat, the classic style of it. Again, it's, you know, it's custom, but it's not out of place or over the top to where it distracts from the car. It, it, it works perfect. I love the uh, trim pieces that go through it on the console there and on the dash. Just in my opinion, they just nailed the car all the way around. And of course, these Pontiacs were, you know, cool cars from the factory, but they were never that cool. A gracious amount of chrome. Look how heavy that front looks, but it's cool, you know? It's back when nobody was using wind tunnels, right? They were just designing what was comfortable, what was cool, and they figured if you made it solid enough that It'd plow through anything. <laughs> I like how that dash wraps around to the door panels. I think it's, I, again, I just think it, it fits the build really well. I think everything looks well thought out and in place. Nothing, nothing looks like it overshadows another part of the car or, you know, there's the wow feature to the car. The whole car is just, just gorgeous. That's rolling art. And obviously it'll come up off the ground so you can drive it. A lot of people are always asking about that. How do you drive them so low? They come up. And then when you want them to sit down on the ground and you can lay them down like that. Supercharged GM motor is my guess. But I like how they featured, they finished out everything with that bronze down in there. The radiator the alternator and all that kind of stuff the paneling is nice you can still see the motor i like the valve covers i like how the intake looks i like the bead rolling done there just a nice car all the way around so there you go from the 2018 sema show a 1956 pontiac star chief convertible hope you all have enjoyed it see ya Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.